Welcome back, guys. We're, we're, we're going to be working on my KX85 2015. We just bought it like a week ago. And we checked the compression. It's at 90. And it's supposed to be between 120 and 180. We've already taken off the plastics, the radiator, and the gas tank. So, and whenever you're doing this, you're going to try to save as much fluids as you can. First things first, we're going to be taking off the motor mount. It's a 12 millimeter. Let's get to work. So you can have one or two people doing this. You can have, all you need is a 12 wrench, 12, uh, 10 wrench and an 8 wrench. So you can either hold it like this or have your buddy doing it. So let's get to work. Um, sometimes your nuts will get stuck, so you the best way to do it is take this out and just drop it a couple times. We got a little brother over here. <laughs> so make sure not to lose any of the nuts. Switch over to a short 12 and take the head off. And then you, if, if it's stuck, gently hit it with a hammer. Yeah, I'll hit my side. Try and pull it off there. So there's a spot over here that you can try to get off and over here, but you have to get it off evenly. Try and get your screwdriver under there just a little bit and twist it. Hold on, I'll come around that side. Okay. You having fun? <laughs> Let me see here. So you just kind of got to get it up in there a little bit, hold that, and then I'll wiggle this up. There you go. Set that down and then put your nuts back on the stud. Now after you get the power valve off, you're gonna you're gonna wanna take this off. And then you gotta loosen your set screw. Inside's here a little clip. You may need some help from your dad. Alright, now that we've got that little clip off. You take a screwdriver and pop that off of there. You should be able to maneuver this as we take the cylinder off and this whole power valve will come out. 
Next, we're going to have to separate the carburetor from the reed valve, and that will take a Phillips head screwdriver. A little bit? A little bit. You may need a little bit more. Let me see if you Here. can move this. Yeah, let's keep going. Next, you're going to want to get your flathead screwdriver and try to break the seal. Help break the seal. Now everything's disconnected from the side. Take off the four nuts that remove a cylinder. The cylinder. Next, we're going to have to take off the cylinder. The easiest way is to tap it with a rubber mallet. And for this, you're going to have to Take your cylinder and push it all the way down slowly. Take your piston to the bottom of the cylinder. That's good. Now tap it with your mallet. Don't hit none of those screws. Hit the side of the cylinder. Here, I'll get it from the side. Okay. We're going to need a flathead screwdriver again. Okay, so that was a pain in the butt to get it up, but don't forget that it's going to be, that it's going to take a lot of wiggling and jiggling. Hold on. That's good. You don't need to hit it. I see what's not coming up. It's right there. Yep. Pull that power valve out as I bring the cylinder up. There we go. All right. Take that with you. Nice and easy. Little clip inside the wrist pin. You may need your dad for this. It's always smart to put some paper towels inside the motor that way you don't drop anything in there just like that go to the other side i'll tap this uh wrist pin out to you while the piston's out of the bike and don't forget to lube everything and two stroke oil and two stroke oil. Hold it over the bench in case you drop it. You wanna lube where the ring's going, you wanna lube where the wrist pin goes. That's enough oil, just rub it all in real good. Next we need to put the clips in on the piston, that way the piston won't fall. Put your piston on, it's a good time to clean your cylinder before we assemble it. You're going to need to slide your power valve into place, locking the rubber grommet right here. Next, we're gonna rotate the power valve into this hole until this hole will fill on the rod. Next, we have to put the C clamp C clamp on. 
got the C-clamp on, we're gonna put the gasket and the cover on. Put your cover on, don't forget to tighten your set screw. I'm gonna go back through and torque all these when we're finished. Yeah. Next is, you, next is your new head gasket and head. Easy, barely finesse it on there. This one's stuck. There we go. Now set the head on there. Turn it around. Remember that front goes to the front with the uh, with? motor mount. Uh, it's nice and easy. Wiggle it on there. There we go. Hold on, you see what this is getting caught on? Uh -oh. Just move it out of there. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. Okay. There we go. And get and your head bolt get started. You know, once you get them started, don't forget to check your torque specs. The motor mount. This and go on the side. Get them started, and then we'll, you can hit it with that. Oh, I forgot how much this thing was in the way. There we go. Okay, hold the first one. Okay, next we're going to attach our radiator, hoses, and carburetor. That one. And next we're going to get the rotor bands off the exhaust to put on the new ones. Sorry about that. No, you're not going to use that to put it on. Okay. Just put it on with your fingers. Get it started on one side and then fold it on around. Don't get that exhaust all over you. Right here. That's where you use the old one. That would have been bad. One new, one old. 
there we go. Now I've got this copper crush washer that's going to go washer. up inside there while we slide this in there. So, like, in first with it? Uh, you can see if you can slide that, that crush washer up in there first. If it'll stay. Oh, like in the... Yeah, all the way up in there. Okay, let me see it. Okay, next we're going to put the springs in to hold it in. You may need your dad for this one. Because they're really hard to pull down. Attach the silencer. The screws short one in the front that one goes in the front yeah get the other one started Is it? You got it in your hand, put it in the hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have it in my hand. Move the, ex move the exhaust up and down until you find the hole. Oh, it's in. gas tank and plastics is pretty self-explanatory. Got it done. We're gonna, we topped off all the fluids. We're gonna get it down and fire it up. Spike's a little bit big for him. Just now yeah. moved up to an 85, so I'm gonna give it a kick.